Okay, so uh, good evening. Uh, so today, uh, so we have an online course because I can go to school in time. So in the beginning of our class, I would like to take a review for the uh, whole process for our next uh, last week's class. So for the chapter three, uh, we are going to investigate what is the key factor, the driving, the, uh, the driving factor for uh, engagement. So we have talked about the uh, conversion rate for marketing. So the driving factor behind marketing engagement. So last week we have talked about what is engagement because this data set is come from IBM for an insurance, uh, our insurance company. So they would like to know what is the key factor to the what is the key factor for their customer to renew their uh, auto insurance. Okay, so the first uh, machine learning methodology we um uh, Discuss is uh, regression analyze. So we call in uh, or regression analyze, Okay, so there's uh, a lot of factors will be in fact the successfully for our marketing issues. So uh, first things uh, we have to talk about how to import the data set uh, from IBM. Uh, last week we have talked about uh, there is a Kago. So you may download the data set from Kago. Uh, for this data set, it contains more than 9,000 customers' records, also with 24 variables. And we have uh, three introduce those variables for your guides. So basically, there are two parts. One is for the policy profile variables. Is uh, the policies profile variables is the data are related to the car insurance factors. Okay, okay so Anyway, you can see the English variable name, and I also translate to Chinese characters, so you may take a uh, look at. Also, IBM data set also provide customers profile variables. So for the state where the residents live, the education level, and also the employee, uh, employment status, the gender for their customers. So the customer profile, uh, Okay, so first we have to import the data set, uh, import the package uh, for the data visualization, the so PLT for short. We also import the data Reputation package, uh, we say as PP for short. Okay, so first you have to download the data set. Okay, so since this data set is uh, separated by all, uh, comma, so is a CSV file, which is a comma separate value. Is a text file for the data set. Also, I hope you guys will know what is the text for our files for our data set. Basically, where I mark is the text uh, in our in your uh, Google Drive. Basically. Uh, our our data will show in the content directory uh, because 
we use in our Google Drive. So a Google, all that will use a drive folder for your data set. Also, uh, don't forget to uh, know that the folders for CoLab. And we also generate a sub folder, a backup of folders for data. And we upload the data to our Google Drive. Okay, because I uh, make some mistake for the past. Okay, so let me do it again for you guys. First, we have to mount our Google Drive. Okay, drive, my drive, all left no good. And here you may find the subdirector data. Okay, so you may find this data, WA service, WA function user C, which is, let me see, user C value analyze, this one, the second one. And don't forget how to copy the Google test from your Google Drive to copy the past. Since you copy the past, you can pass the past to your uh, VCSV comment. Okay. So we have the past for our files. Okay. 好,那现在同学呢,你就跟老师一样,现在先准备好。Okay, so uh, so you guys have to uh, prepare your data set for today's course. Okay, 好,我们就先整理一下。Okay, so since we have uh, upload and load our data to Python environments, so to check the first five rows for the data set, you may show the first 10 records for your data set. It's right. Okay, the Continue variables. Also, you can describe all the variables. Object variables, which is uh, category variables, mimushi the bianshu. So you can see the difference. We didn't use any parameters. It will retrieve all the Continue variables for the describe. You can use all variables. Also, you can only use the object variables. Okay, so data set information to see if there are any missing value for your data set. Color names, like with the return. Okay, we list the color names. 
the type, the data type for each color. And also, we have to convert the response variables to convert yes statements to one and convert no statements to zero. So we use the function apply. And also we, we use the lambda function, which we have talked about uh, two weeks late, two weeks before. Okay, so we also generate a new engage variables. You may see it here, okay? And also we can retrieve the columns we want to exempt. I'll catch it data, okay? The response is the original uh, available. And we also transfer to available with engaged. Okay, no, with the status zero. Yes, with the status one. So we use the apply and lambda function to do this uh, transformation. So we use apply this function and lambda function to make this response data engaged. What is engaged? Engagement. Okay? So your customer make their auto insurance renew. Okay. Okay, the tail. So you guys know these uh, instructions. Okay, so last week we talked about how to draw the histogram for one single variable. Okay, so for the histogram we call uh, found to is, is a distribution for one single variable. Columns, and we draw the histogram for the total trend amount. Is the total claim amount for each car excellent for their claim? Okay. Okay, so let me explain more about the function for histogram. So, PLT is the data visualization package. Histogram is we use the function for draw a histogram. And since histogram, we only use one variable. So here we only retrieve one column from our data set, which is total current amount variables. And we use the 10, uh, 100 part. So you may try the difference with 50. So the bar will be wide. Okay. So in the one you write 100 Okay, so for X label, for Y X label, the text for X X, the text for Y X, XY the total the total title for our diagram, histogram of total clan amount. We also can put a text in our diagram. So we use PLT dot. Okay, PLT. So the text where we want to put the text. So here is 
original data for a point, so we use the Yuan Dian, okay? Zero, zero for X and Y exit. So you can see here, uh, 400 is about here, 400 pixels. 400 pixels. 400 Six, uh, 760 pixel for Y. You may change the difference, okay? For the maximum is here. The X is 2,800. It's about here, X the zone. For Y is 50. 50 is here. Oh, I'm sorry. So here is original data uh, point. This is the 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 point. Also, we have to draw the grid, the grid for your diagram. And the final to show all the content that we have described. Okay, so you get this histogram diagram. Also, uh, also uh, last week, I asked you guys to, uh, to have exercise for different variables like income, okay? Since a lot of customers, they don't have the income. So the peak for this one is, is more than 2,000 customers. They don't have any income. It's too much compared to uh, the customer who has income. So you can see the pick is too much. So we have to delete. So we have to filter the data uh, without any income. Okay. So here we retrieve the income one by one. And the chat, the chat, is the income variable is bigger than zero. If yes, if the customer do have income, so the result for this comparison should be true. If the income is zero, since zero does not bigger than zero, so you get the statements for false. So it's easy for you guys to check. Okay, so add, so we have to retrieve the true statements. So we use these comparisons to retrieve the customers. They do have income. Okay, so you can see the difference between these two instructions. 啊,這兩個有什麼差異? The first instruction is the logistic comparison, 邏輯值的比較. Okay, so the status for this logistic comparison is only two status, true or false status. Status. And then we use this filters function which to retrieve the data with true statements. Okay. So only your third. So the second DF. So retrieve the data with true and drop the data with false. Okay, so here you may find 
we still judge on the about about seven thousand. Okay, 大概将近七千笔的资料。Okay, six thousand eight hundred seventeen customers. They do have income. So, okay, so you may see income here. We may copy this result to check. Okay, so copy. We have a new source code. Okay, we do it again. We retrieve all the customers which income is bigger than zero. Is all the data set true or not? Let me see. What is it? Yes. Oh, sorry. This here is a old data set. Okay, so you may take to try. This is get an error. So how to stop solve the problem? 好，我们今天第一个作业看看，好，怎么解决这个问题？好。给各位三分钟时间看看，我待会公布答案。OK， I give you uh three minutes to solve the problem. Why this instruction can not work? 为什么这个指令没有办法执行 ？I would like to check the income is bigger than zero or not. 好，来看看，刚好我们今天的一个案例哈。助教帮我看看有哪个同学有做出来的啊？登记下分数加分。If you solve the problem which I made before, so you can uh to show your evidence to our TA and you get extra credit for this problem. Ah, 有没有同学等一下解解答完了哈，你就跟老师挥挥手，或者是举个手一下 ，say hello 一下，好让我知道。啊，有没有人同学做出来了？刚好我们这个直接的哈，直接来看。嗯我的意思是说，想要去看那个 in income 的 data， 再去比较一次。I want to compare the filter result for our second instructions. Does the instructions do the right things or not? 有没有同学做想到了？ So you may find what is the error type, type error. Not supported between instance of string and int. Hey, 助教，有没有同学解答出来的？老师目前还没有，还在。没有，还没有。有这么难吗？好，也跟同学讲一下了哈。老师的程式码都没有错了，所以说你们平常自己在写程式的时候，一定会出到，会出到，会会有问题。
，但是没关系，就是自己解决一下。好，可以在一分钟啊，是在公布答案。Okay, so when you solve the problem, so you may uh have another, or maybe you have a new uh problem for your data analytics. The best way is you have to solve the problem by yourself. Or you may be you may uh to check to Google what is the error type for your instructions. 好，还没有人找到答案，我来，我试着一下。OK， 我看一看，就是这样子。好 ，OK， 了解。好，那不知道是什么原因。Does anyone know? Okay, so let me explain. When we use this function, is we only retrieve the income is bigger than zero. And unfortunately, it retrieves all the variables. 看到没有？用这个指令的话，它是把所有的 data set 的二十五个栏位 retrieve 出来。So with this function, it retrieve the twenty five. Okay, the twenty. Uh, uh, the, yes, twenty five variables together. Okay. 把这个所有的二十五个变数都取出来。Okay, so what is the error for this instruction? This the error type they have mentioned not supposed between instance. What is instance records? 这个笔数啊，六千多笔的笔数。It cannot support string and integers. To do the comparisons bigger than zero. We only to compare with the income variables. We only to compare with the income variables. Not all the variables for DF. Ah, this point is where? 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 So that's why you may see the difference. Yes. So we retrieve all the variables, get the result, right? And then only to check the variables income. So with this instruction, it will check one by one. Does the income Variables is bigger than zero, so you may find all the results are true. Right? Okay. That 理解了吧？好，那这边我就把它删掉了哈。这个以后的解答就不过了哈。Okay. So since we Retrieve all the variables uh, which the income is bigger than zero, and we talk oh, and uh, save to another data frame name we call DF income, and also we draw the data set for DF income. So you can see the this diagram. Does not contain any zero income customers. Up to you, okay? Ah, okay. So this is our first homework for you guys. Data analytics engagement. Okay. Thanks.
แต่ถ้าถ่ายดิสบอลคาร์เนนอิงเกจรีสปอนส์ with twenty five variables okay retrieve the first one so we use the zero index which is the first element so you may see the difference with this one e f ship one it should be 25 okay now what is the type what is that i said what is it's a tuple suzu a tuple with two integers Okay, so here is the petition uh, for the rate, okay, engagement rate we have talked about before. Okay, so we use a, a plot. Transfer, uh, transfer, okay, transfer. With the row to column, column to row, okay. Okay, so last, we we have talked about pivot table okay so pivot table they uh include three uh very important in uh variables the first one is index so which columns you won't put in the index also you want to choose the column names, column for your pivot table and also what kind of variable you want to calculate. You can sum up, you can make uh, to choice the maximum value for each variables. Okay, so here is we retrieve three columns from here. Okay, so with fever table, so we assign response. Uh, response. Index is this one here. Index. What is the index? There are four types for renew offer type. Oh, four types. And we use the column for engage because there are two status for engage zero and one so you get two columns separate with engaged and what is the fun function length okay exercise you have to do the difference change index with engage and change the column to renew offer type so index should be two rows and column with four columns because column for the renew offer type they have four types for the category okay so we just renew the column name zero with not engage one with engage uh, we eager to engage the customer do renew their car insurance i mean if the either person just engage okay we dropped grow the data frame for the engage by offer type Okay, so with this diagram, you may see that uh, the trend for the comparison with each offer type. So, uh, so you see here the the a like the agent here. You may see here the originals is present as engaged. 
So here you may see uh, lots engaged state uh, status. They they use the renew type for alpha one and alpha two. For alpha one and alpha two, they owe uh, more than five hundred examples. Ah, from this side, it looks like just offer time. Then, ah, uh, offer one and offer two, both exceeded five hundred examples. The renew the the this customer's people. Ah, for the offer three and offer four, they are very little, not too much. Maybe less than fifty. You can see less than fifty people, but you can see the difference here. On the thirty, and you may see there is no one, no one choice the renewed offer five. Oh, ah, 表示第四个方案呢，并没有选取。Okay, so with this diagram, it's easy for you guys to see. The four different renew offer types, the best should be offered to. The uh, offer type, uh, your customer want to renew their car insurance. Okay, so this is the practice. Okay, the last practice. Okay, with different uh, status, state. Response engaged. 好，这边没什么问题了哈。Over time. 嗯。我比你。好，那我们休息一下。接下来呢，我们就探讨这一个。Uh, 视觉化 data visualization. Okay, so we uh, have ten minutes break. So please come back at uh, seven fifteen. Okay, 十五分回来，好吧，七点十五分钟，我们休息十五呃十五分钟，好，大概十二分钟了，好，好，那七点十五就回来。